Right, Dave here again. <coughs> Rocket stove boiler, connected up, and as you can see, it's nice and running. It's been running uh, for 12 hours, so to give you some sort of idea. Uh, and in 12 hours, it burnt uh, 30 litres of fuel, so you can work it out for yourself, um, which was £5.60, so it's just under the pound uh, an hour to run. So there we are, it's not bad. And there we are, coming round. There's the pump, and the uh, header tank is there, and that's the open vent. Now, whatever you do when you're playing with water, you need an open vent. Can be dangerous, you're going to be building a bomb. So that's half inch open vent. Now, the something I ought to mention is this here that's the cold feed, that's the open vent. Between there and there, you need a minimum space of 200 millimeters. So when it comes out of the boiler, that's what it's got to be. Then there's the pump, and we go around to the radiators, and we'll see if we can get this right. We can show you the temperature on the radiator. Come on, there we are. That's, we give it in Fahrenheit. You can never see these things. Here we are. Right, there we are. Radiator temperature, 155, 160 Fahrenheit. That is blooming hot, I tell you. Percolating nice, and the temperature in the workshop is uh, 65 degrees. So there we are. That's the setup coming around there. And if we go around the other side, there's another radiator. That's a single. This one round here is a double radiator. So you can see that there, look, that's a double. This is only a one pipe system, not a two pipe system. You can see where I've linked the radiators together at the bottom there. So that's joined that rad to that rad. Feeds in the top of this radiator, circulates through there, goes back round, and that's the return there. So that comes up the return and into there. Cold feed into the return. This is all for the people that uh, don't understand much about heating. And the pump is not the right pump. That is a domestic hot water pump. That's all made of stainless steel. It's one I had kicking around in the workshop for years. And I wonder what I was going to do with it. So there we are. But it's not a very high flow rate, which is perfect for this because there's only two rads. But there will be more radiators later. Um, I've got to get round to making some radiators now and I've got some designs I'll have to use. But uh, there we are, so it's up and running. And there we are, that's inside the bin. That's what we used overnight. Flu temperature, as you can see, is very small. So that's, that's not a big flu temperature. Um, and then down here, and it, as you can see, it is closed off quite a lot. Now that was the setting I have for night, which is about less than six millimeter, well, it might be no, about six millimeter gap, and it ran all night perfectly, all on its own, never needed looking at 12 hours that ran for. I was quite pleased with that, and uh, it's giving a fair old temperature, I tell you. Right, there we are. I don't know if we can see the flame in there. Yes, we can. There we are. There's the flame uh, with a little slot at the back there. Uh, as I've said before. That's not a problem. Uh, the little slot, here we go, where is it gone? I've lost the bit I was going to use. Here we are. Here is. This is to just show you what the little slot does. Come on back. Yeah, what's happened here? Here we are. Back. Right. Now this shows you, this is a just a lighter. Right, watch this. Now this is the slot, look, it's total suction, look. So I can demonstrate that we've got total suction on the uh, slot. So nothing comes in the workshop. That works nicely. Between that air and the back air, that gives a nice through air, which makes it percolate nicely. So <clears throat> you still want to put your kettle on there, you can. Um, let's get it in the right position. We can. Come on. Oh. This is difficult to show you. 
Right, there we are. It's running at 670. Yeah, that's that's pretty fair old temperature. 600 and 60, 670. And it did go, if I take the door out, it runs up. Uh, terrible. It gets 900 degrees in that position there. So that is much too hot for the water. Um, it pushes the hot water over the expansion. And it makes the little F and E tank, cold feed and expansion tank hot. So we don't need any of that. But uh, that is, believe me, you won't want to put your hands on that radiator. That is poking out some meat, I'll tell you. Beautiful, works nice. Uh, I hope you all enjoy the video and uh, hope you understand what it's all about. So there's the boiler, up and running, cheap to run, and it will run. Um, well, there's no problem in running six or seven rads on this. So I'm only running two at the moment, but it will run a lot more than this. This is just, it's so low on the temperature, it's unreal. But that is red hot. Oh, that is too hot. You can't, look, you can't even hold your hand on it for long. And I ain't, I'm not fibbing. Uh, that is really hot. So um, I hope you all enjoy the video. This is Dave signing off. Don't forget the bits at the bottom. It's uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. Subscribe if you wish to. Or leave a message on the bottom there. If there's anything you don't understand, I will try and get back to you. The um, tubes running through the boiler, the centres of those is 50.8 millimetres centres. So you've got a, 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 an elbow and an M and F elbow into each other to give me the centres and that's how it works. Really simple to do, but don't forget it's 50.8. And we've showed you all the hoppers and all the bits and pieces. and. It did fill up the ash pan overnight, I've just emptied that, um, but it's perfect. And anybody that thinks it's not going to work properly, it really does. And <coughs> creosite problems do not exist at these temperatures. What people say about creosote doesn't exist, it just makes pure dust because what you're doing at the end of the day, this thing is so efficient, it is producing the flame absolutely spot on. It does give a nice blue flame most of the time. There's a little bit of yellow there today, but it does give a nice blue flame. Uh, if I take it out the door, so you can have another little percolate. There's the door out. You can see for yourself. That is on low flame, and it's just starting to pick up a bit more now. But that'll give you some sort of idea. <coughs> what you remember is the fire. When it's burning, it's making charcoal. So the charcoal is what makes it really hot. So you're converting the pellets to charcoal, and then the charcoal, if you don't know, it burns at a much higher temperature. Right, this dive signing off. Catch you all on the flip side. Don't forget the bits at the bottom. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Any comments, don't forget, at the bottom. Thank you, bye-bye.